Good morning. How's it going? So, protocol of boring stuff's over. Now let's get to the dev tools. All right. So, I'm John Woods. I'm the CTO at the Algorand Foundation. And you might remember me from such chains as Ethereum and Cardano, where I've also worked. But I've come to Algorand because, quite literally, it is the first blockchain that's fit for purpose. It's the, first, <laughs> it's the first blockchain that I think can deliver on the types of things that we say blockchain can do. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about DevTools. So a quick note that the Algorand blockchain is open for business. It's not in beta. It's a product that's ready to support your applications right now. So you can bring enterprise-grade applications to the Algorand mainnet today, and it is ready to support those applications with zero downtime, and with a user experience that's going to del delight your users. So this is great, but we also need to make sure that we have developer tools that allow folks to realize their vision. We need a developer experience that are going to be developer tools that you're going to want to use. People know that I'm a big fan of Apple products and Apple developer experiences. And when I open up Xcode and I'm using it, to build iPhone apps, I get a great experience. Even when I'm debugging, I can blow up the user interface in 3D, and I can, it visualizes everything for me. And so it's fun to use. And that's exactly where we need to take the developer experience for Algorand. So how do we get there? The answer is AlgoKit. So AlgoKit is a soup to nuts, complete toolkit that you can use to build, test, and deploy applications for Algorand. I'm going to break down some of the components that are inside so you can get an idea of what it's going to be like. Modern development with tools like Rust, people love things like Cargo. They love a CLI that allows them to build, test, install packages, and help them with their folder structures. Tr Ethereum has this with Triple, and so we realized that it was very important to have an intuitive command line interface that would allow people to build, test, and deploy right from the CLI. But we're not stopping there. This CLI, the AlgoKit command line interface, will also provide you safe templating. So when you're initializing your project, you can specify what type of project you're using. And this is similar to, or what type of your project you're building, rather. And this is similar to the types of things you will have seen in more mainstream IDEs, like Android Studio or Xcode. These templates will be an audited, safe starting point so if you're trying to spin up your latest DAO, you'll have a template to start off. If you're trying to build a safe NFT, you'll have a template to start off. We're also going to have a coherent testing suite. This is going to allow you to unit test right within your favorite uh, uh, code editor. In this case, we're going to have VS Code integration. And you're going to be able to go right through with syntax highlighting and test in a very simple way. So you'll write your unit tests in a Python syntax, and you'll be able to test your product before it goes to mainnet. And finally, one other thing I want to touch on. We're going to have a simulation environment that will allow you to, within seconds, even on a regular computer, spin up an Algorand node and provide a full and comprehensive simulation environment where you can see how your application is performing before it ends up in the mainnet. And all of this is done locally, so it doesn't cost you anything. So I think this developer experience with AlgoKit is going to be best in class. We're going to have a developer preview available hopefully in January, and the first release will be in Q1 of 2023, hopefully in February. So this is great, but we appreciate that this is a new paradigm in how you're going to be building things, so we want to make it easy to learn how to use this tool. So we're going to do learning the fun way. We're going to gamify the education process. We're going to have tasks and, and uh, uh, you know, a, a bunch of things you can do, there's going to be a website where you can go and check different tasks that are available, and you'll get rewards for being able to complete certain tasks. We're going to have a process where we can take you from a protocol zero to a protocol hero. So we're going to demystify and disambiguate the underlying protocol for you. We're going to explain PyTeal in simple language and give you instructions on how to do things in a best-in-class way. And then finally, 
we're going to have bite-sized content and more modular style content with competency-led training. So at the end of these programs, you'll come out with actual skills. And so you'll be able to directly work on certain genres of application, and you'll be confident that you know how to do things the right way. So that's a look at AlgoKit, and it's a look at where we're thinking of taking the developer experience next year. Um, if there's any questions, I'll take some from the audience quickly. Uh, if not, it's been nice to speak with you. No questions? Do I escape? Yes, I do. Okay. Thank you very much. Matt. <laughs>